Hi everybody, it's really nice you're joining me today. Today I have a class for you where we will be using the small Pilates ball. But please don't worry if you don't have a ball, you can do everything without the ball. It's also useful to have a small cushion that you can use eventually for your head to rest on. Okay, so let's begin. I hope you enjoy this class. Grab your ball. We're going to start seated. Place the ball right behind you. Your legs are bent in front of you, hip distance apart. Relax your feet. If it's comfortable, try and bring all 10 toes down onto the ground and press the big toe joint down as well. Hold on to the back of your legs and sit up really nice and tall. Use your arms to help you. Draw your shoulders down. Let's take a nice deep breath in through the nose. As you exhale, start to gently curl back. We're leaning into the ball behind us and we are focusing on our abdominal muscles, drawing in and flattening. Inhale, roll yourself all the way back up, lengthening tall to the ceiling. Exhale, curling back again. Feel your sit bones gently coming forwards as you're leaning back. Inhale, roll yourself all the way up again. Can you grow a little bit taller? Exhale, round and back. Now we're going to stay in this position. Cross your arms in front of your chest. Make sure your shoulders are nice and relaxed. Inhale here. On your next exhale, turn your chest to the right diagonal. Focus on the right side of your abdominals. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, rotate over to your left side. Feel the left side working. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Let's go one more on each side. Inhale, center. Exhale to your left. Bring yourself to the center, extend and reach your arms out forwards. Roll yourself all the way up. Let's bring the soles of the feet together and stretch gently forwards towards your legs, towards your feet. Release your head, relax your tummy, relax your face. Roll yourself slowly up. Inhale, take a big stretch with your arms up to the sky. Exhale, open your arms out nice and wide, stretching the arms away from you. Inhale, bring your knees back up. Adjust your feet to hip distance apart. Exhale, curl back again. If at any time your ball feels it's not in the center of your back, please do adjust it. Now cross your arms again. And we inhale, start twisting towards your right again. As you exhale, lift an inch forwards on that diagonal. Inhale, leaning back into the ball. Exhale, lifting gently forwards. Small pulses. Inhale, lean back. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lean back. Exhale, lift. We'll do five. One more to go. And lift. Stretch your arms out in front of you. Come to the center. And then cross your arms the other way, lean to your left side. Breathe in, breathe out, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Now you're feeling your left side obliques working. And lift. Check that your shoulders are relaxed. And lift. And lower, one more. And lift. Excellent, come back to the center, reach your arms out. One more time, roll yourself up. Again, allow the knees to open, stretch your arms up first, reach up tall, and take a big stretch forwards towards your legs again. You can draw yourself gently forwards, or you can just keep it nice and relaxed, just releasing wherever you are. Good, roll yourself up. Once more, take your arms all the way up to the sky. And again, beautiful big arm opening out to the side. Good. Bring your knees back up again. Now we're going to shift the ball just a little bit further away. 
if at any point you feel it's putting too much pressure into your lower back, you bring the ball close again, so you stay high up. So otherwise the ball a little bit away, inhale. And let's exhale, curl back again. So we can go that little lower down and just feel the abdomen still working really strongly here. Now this time bring your hands behind your head. Be really careful not to poke your head forwards here. Now from here, can you bring your right knee in towards you and gently turning your chest to the right diagonal. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, slowly lift your left leg up. Try not to rock your pelvis. Turn your chest towards your left diagonal. Inhale, foot down, facing forwards. Exhale to the right diagonal, right leg comes up. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Last one in each side. And center. Over to the left. And center. Reach your arms forwards. Come all the way up. Stretch your legs out in front of you. And now we take a stretch over our long legs. Releasing your head. Relax your neck, your shoulders. And allow the belly to be soft for a moment. Good. Again, roll yourself up. Stretch your arms one more time up tall to the sky. And again, a big circle with the arms opening out to the side. Now, keeping the legs straight, bring your legs close together. Let's go back into that ball one more time. Good. Again, always make sure the ball is in the center of your back. We'll bring the hands back behind the head. Try not to poke the head forwards. Bend your right knee in towards your chest, tabletop position, chest turning towards your right diagonal. So we think of the left shoulder and the right knee having a connection. From here, we do the same as before. We do little pulses. On your next exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Lower, lift, lower, and lift. Relax your leg all the way down, reach your arms forwards. Five little pulses here. Come forwards and squeeze into that ball. Come forwards and squeeze. Feel the abdominals. They really should be working now. Feel a gentle burn. One more. Good. Hands behind your head again. Bend your left leg, tabletop, twist to your left. Ready, inhale, exhale, lift. These are really tiny movements, tiny pulses. Coming forwards, two more. Good, well done. Come to the center, stretch your leg out, reach your arms forwards. Let's stretch one more time over our legs. Give yourself a nice stretch. You can always bend your knees here if that feels better. And then we reach the arms all the way up to the sky. Sit up as tall as you can. Ten pulses with your arms, reaching up and pressing back. Palms face each other. We go. Pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Opening your arms out wide to the side, palms up to the sky, shoulders down, your arms are really strong, pulsing back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now place your hands on the mat behind you and then start to peel your hips off the ground as high as you can. Push the floor away with your hands, lift out of your shoulders. Breathe in and breathe out. One more inhale and exhale. Slowly sit yourself all the way down. Good. From here, let's move the ball further back. Now stretch your arms out in front of you. 
we're going to roll slowly down and so hopefully the ball is going to be between our shoulder blades. Now this is where it's really nice to have that cushion or blanket to rest the head on so your neck is supported. Stretch out really tall. Circle the arms out to the side. Lift your head. The abdominals are going to help you come forwards. And we're just simply sitting up nice and tall. Inhale. Exhale. We're curling down. Easy shoulders. We got that ball to look forward to. Big stretch back. Inhale. Exhale, big circle, arms out to the side. When your arms pass the shoulder line, start to lift your head and roll yourself up. And again, sit up nice and straight, breathe in. Exhale, curling back, working through your spine, articulating the movement. Big stretch back, inhale. Exhale, circle, head, chest, roll yourself up. Inhaling. Now, if you like an extra challenge, cross your arms in front of you. Roll down here, try not to fall down. Then stretch your arms back, inhale. And again, lovely big circles. Shoulder blades drawing down. Head comes forwards, roll yourself up, inhaling, last one, maybe crossing the arms, maybe keeping your arms stretched out in front of you, roll it down, again, stretch out really long, reach, 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 enjoy that stretch here, and roll yourself all the way back up. Good. From here, you're going to take your ball, hold it in front of you, and then roll yourself slowly down. Now you're going to stop when you're just feeling the tips of your shoulder blades on the floor. Bend your knees in towards you. Reach the ball above the knees. Good. Now here's a fun thing with the ball. We're going to do single leg stretch, and every time you're passing the ball under one leg. Okay, so extend your left leg out to 45 degree, take the ball into your right hand and pass it under your right bent leg. Then the left leg catches it and then we swap the legs and then switch. So just a fun thing with the ball, a little bit of coordination. Now try and commit to that forward curl so it's easier for your neck. Keep drawing the abdominals in, making sure your lower back does not arch. Well done. And let's hug the knees in. Take a moment, just relax. Rock yourself a little bit. And rock your head a little bit side to side as well. Lovely. And put your ball for a moment onto the ground. Stretch your legs up to the sky. Hold your legs. Let's point the toes. And flex. And point. And flex, make sure the little toe side is coming down. One more point. And flex. Right, bend your knees. Let's bring the feet all the way down to the mat. And now place your ball under your right foot. Now it's a little bit tricky to know that your feet are still level with each other, even so one foot is slightly higher. Good. I really like you to think about your foot wrapping over the ball, okay? If at any point you get a cramp, just come out, stretch out, and then join in again. Stretch your arms down beside your body. Breathe in here. On your next exhale, we continue with our abdominal work, flattening the abdominals. Start to roll your pelvis, your lower back, your middle back, off the ground, coming into a high pelvic tilt. You're pushing with your right foot into the ball, keeping the ball nice and steady in the same position. Inhale at the top, exhale, roll slowly down. So there's a little bit of wobbling going on perhaps. Just 
Just do your best to control the ball. Inhale, exhale, abdominals working, rolling slowly up. Press with the ball of the foot into the ball as well. So you're not just digging the heel in. Hold it. And slowly coming down. So I'm hoping for you to feel your hamstrings. Both hamstrings, probably the right side a little bit stronger. One more time, go all the way back up again. Hips are still nice and level. Lengthen your tailbone forwards and up. And we're gonna stay here, inhale. As you exhale, slide your right leg forwards, try not to drop the pelvis, reach your right arm back. And then slide your foot back in, hand comes all the way down. Inhale, exhale, slide. Breath in here. Exhale, bring it back in. Just one more. Inhale. That right leg is working really hard right now. Reach. The left leg is holding us up. And come back. Hold it here. Last effort. Lift those hips a little bit in case they have come down. And slowly peel yourself down. Well done. Take hold of your right leg. Let's give that leg a stretch. Stretch your right leg up. And we're going to circle the right foot. Three big circles each direction. Continue to breathe. Good. Very gently point your toes to the sky. Curl your head and chest forwards. Climb your hands up a little bit higher. Extend your left leg just off the ground. Hold on to that right leg. Careful the shoulders don't hike up to your ears. Breathe in and breathe out. Stay as you are or reach your hands forwards. Inhale, exhale, stay lifted. Feel the abdominals working. Inhale, exhale. Catch your leg again. Park your left foot back onto the mat. Lower your head down, one more big stretch for that right leg and relax it down. Good, let's change that ball under your left foot now. So just take a moment to be sure you're nice and straight. Your feet are on the same level with the left foot slightly higher. Hips are nice and level. Inhale, prepare, stretch your arms beside your body. Exhale. Curl slowly up. Good. Notice if your heel wants to dig into the ball. Try and press with the whole foot down, the ball of the foot. Feel your hamstrings. They should be working. And slowly come down. Inhale, release. Exhale, press down into the floor, into the ball, rolling up. Inhale at the top, exhale, rolling back down again. Peeling down through the spine. The next one, we're going to stay up slowly. Roll yourself back up again. Now establish the position, keeping those hips nice and level. Careful the ribs don't stick out. Inhale, exhale, slide your left leg forwards. The ball comes under your ankle towards your calf. Stretch and slide it back in. Inhale, pause. Check your position. Exhale, slide the leg away. Reach your left arm back. Inhale, reach a little bit further. Exhale, bring it back to the center. Brilliant. Inhale, last one. Exhale. So feeling that. Burning in your hamstring, they're working, 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 reach and bring yourself all the way back. Inhale here, exhale, roll slowly down. Good, once more, let's stretch that leg up towards the sky, give it a good stretch, gently pull it towards you, point your toes and then start to circle through your ankle, move the toes as well. Change direction. 
And again, we gently point the toes to the sky. Curl your head and chest forwards, draw the abdominals in nice and flat. Perhaps climbing those hands up a little bit higher, extend your right leg floating above the ground. Hold that position, using the abdominals. Push the leg a little bit into your hands. You can stay here or reach your arms forwards and just maintaining the position, holding it from your center. Legs are active. One more inhale. Exhale, catch that top leg again. Place your right foot down, give it one more big stretch, lower your head down and release your leg. We have one more here. Now this time we're going to put both feet on the board. Okay, so it might be a little bit wobbly, that's okay. Just have fun, okay? So from here, again, think about your feet wrapping over the board. Squeeze your legs together, arms down beside you. Breathe in, breathe out. Let's push down into the ball, lift your hips up. Hold that position, find your balance, and let's come slowly down. Good, again, if you get a cramp, do stretch it out, don't suffer. Inhale, exhale, push down with both feet, the balls of the feet lift up. Squeeze the legs together as best as you can, inhaling. Exhale, come slowly down. Beautiful, we got one last one. There's a tiny extra bit, come slowly up again. Holding your hips up, see if you can pause here. Now, if you can, open your knees and squeeze your knees together. Open your knees, squeeze your knees together. Open and squeeze. Two more, keep going, you can do this, last one and squeeze slowly, try not to drop down, come down with control, roll it down, stretch your legs away, oh, stretch your arms back, flex your feet, reach out really long and then we'll take the arms up, press into the ball, roll yourself up, take the legs off the ball and let's take another nice big stretch forwards. Stretch out those legs. Feel free to rock a little bit. Any movement here that feels good to release. And then roll yourself back up. Good. From here, we're going to tuck. I'm going to come down a little bit. We're going to tuck the ball under our calves. So here's the challenge. Can we maintain the ball in this position for rolling like a ball? So you're going to curl back, slightly rounded back, hold on to your shins, squeeze the ball, toes just off the ground, and gently tuck in your chin. Okay? Now from here, when we're going to roll back, you're only rolling to your shoulder, so you're not rolling onto your neck. Okay? Let's inhale to prepare, exhale, inhale, start to roll back, exhale, roll up, and the challenge is to find your balance point, not to touch the mat. Inhale back, exhale, roll up, stay in that small curved position, inhale back, exhale up. Good, so continue here. Or if you found that fairly easy, you can reach your arms, so no more arms now to help us. Roll back and roll up. Keep compact, you're holding onto your ball under your calves. Last one. And forwards. That's enough. Take the ball all the way out. Let's move our hips back. Take your hands back and one more time come into your back support as we did earlier, lifting the hips up nice and high. Enjoy the length at the front of your body. Either look forwards or look up towards the sky. And slowly sit yourself all the way down. Good. Now we're going to turn sideways. So I will face you and I will mirror image you. So come and face me. Let's move our cushions out of the way. 
hold the ball in your left hand. If you need to pad your knees, you can put a cushion under your knees. Let's open the arms out nice and wide, lengthening your tailbone down. Inhale here, exhale, lean onto your left side. You're going to support yourself on that ball. Extend your right leg out to the side. The top hand behind your head. Good. Now push the bottom hip forwards and then your top hip is stacked on top of it. So we're really nice and flat, okay? From here, we inhale, exhale, lift up your straight leg. Inhale, lower down. Now be mindful of that left shoulder here so it doesn't go up to your ears. We're just simply lifting and lowering. And lift and lower. Go up and down and up. I lost my count, but let's just do two more. And up. And then park your foot all the way down. Now here's a really great one for the waist. Can you lift a couple inches away from the ball? And then lower down without changing anything. So you're still really long, you're reaching the crown of the head on that diagonal and lower down, and one more time, lift, and lower, and lift, and lower. Last one, lift up. We're gonna hold, take your top end down beside your body. The other arm is gonna reach, 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 reach. Up you come, and stretch over towards your straight leg. Gates pose, beautiful stretch. Come all the way up to kneeling. Tuck in your straight leg, sit back, grab your ball, place it onto the diagonal on your left hand side and stretch out. So now your right side, the side you've just been working can get a nice stretch. Good, then just leave the ball where it is. Face yourself right forwards over your legs. Bring your arms beside your body and just take a moment here in child's pose, bringing symmetry back into your body. Now slowly roll yourself back up. Take your ball now into the right hand. Come all the way up, stretch your arms out nice and wide. Draw your shoulders down, inhale. Exhale, leaning to your right side. Reach the ball away, extend your left leg. Good, again, we'll push the hips forwards. We're nice and open across the front of the hips. Abdominals engaged, top hand behind your head. Now you're just slightly balancing on that ball. Let's lift up our straight leg. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift. Good, now make sure your head is not, again, too far forwards. Almost push the head a little bit into your hand. So you really keep that long line, spine and head. Lifting your leg up and lower. Lift up and lower. Now it doesn't matter if your leg doesn't go very far, far, but really focus on reaching it away, lengthening. Good, last two. Last one, and release. Relax your foot down. Now here's for waist, inhale. As you exhale, can you lift up just a touch from the ball? And lower down. You really will feel this on the top side of your waist. Lift up a little bit, and lower down. Again, lift, and lower. Exhale, and lower. Here's the last one. Lift, top hand down beside you, the other arm reaching along your ear, stretch it away. Come all the way up and stretch over towards your straight leg. Big stretch over. Inhale, come all the way up. Tuck your straight leg in, sit back to your heels. Grab your ball to the right diagonal and stretch out into that beautiful child's pose, giving that 
left side a good stretch now. Breathe here. Breathe out. We'll come all the way to the center. And then let's come into child's pose. Arms in any position that's comfortable for you. Take a moment here. Exhale. Great. Roll yourself all the way up. Now we're going to face lengthwise on our mats again. So from here, tuck the ball between your ankles. Come onto your hands and knees. Hands just a touch in front of your shoulders, please. Tuck your toes under. Inhale. And then exhale. Send your hips back and up into an up stretch position or downward dog. Lift the hips up. Reach the heels down. Just feel that lovely stretch for your legs. Your knees can be slightly bent if that feels more comfortable. From here, rock yourself forwards into plank. You can step your hands forwards to adjust the position. Hands right under your shoulders. Legs strong. You're squeezing that ball between your heels. Keep pushing the ground away. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Knees straight or you can place your knees onto the mat. Slowly lower all the way down to the ground. Point your toes and then turn your head towards your left side. Take your hands, palms facing up, on your back as high as you comfortably can with your shoulders relaxed. Now lengthen your tailbone towards your heels and draw your belly gently in. Squeeze your sit bones together. We're going to do double leg kick. So from here, inhale. Exhale three kicks with your heels to your seat. Make sure you don't stick your bottom up into the air. Exhale. And then inhale. Start to lift the chest. Stretch your arms back. And then lower slowly back down. Second side. Turn your head to the right. Kick, kick, kick. Extending into a beautiful arrow, reach the shoulders back, crown of the head reaching forwards. Turn your head to the left, hands on your back, kick, 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 and extend, reach. Feel all the muscles on your back working, and kick, 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 and reach it back. Again, a hamstring and glutes are working. Two more to go, and kick, 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 Extend, keep the neck nice and long by looking to the floor. Last time, kick, 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 and reach out. Pause for a moment, stretch out through your toes. Shoulders keep pulling back, fingertips reaching back, and then rest down. Hands under your shoulders, push yourself all the way up. Let's take the ball out. And let's just do the cut stretch round in your spine. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round in. Inhale, lengthening. Look out forwards. Exhale, round in. Good. One last time, come down onto your belly. Take the ball with you. And in this movement, we're going to have the ball in front of us. Now take care of your shoulders. If this hurts on your shoulders, you can simply place your arms beside here, your body here, and do the exercise in this position. Otherwise, the ball under your wrists with your palms together. You're going to stretch your arms out long. The shoulders come up towards your ears. Inhale, exhale. Draw the arm bones into the shoulder joints, shoulder blades drawing down. Press into the ball to lift your chest and head. Only as far as you're comfortable. Inhale, hold. Exhale. Lengthen out forwards and stretch out really long. Inhale. Exhale. Again, think about the arms drawing into the shoulder sockets. Shoulder blades drawing down. As you push, lifting up. Hold. And release, stretching out forwards. Inhale. Exhale. So don't worry how high you come. You might stay quite low. Just feel the shoulder blades moving, your back muscles engaging. We're focusing on the middle back. 
just below the shoulder blades and release. The next one, we're going to come up again and we're going to extend and float the legs up. Now, can you keep the trunk, the arms, the ball as still as possible as you start to move the legs up and down in a swimming motion? Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And then rest everything down. Hands under your shoulders. Rock your hips a little bit side to side. And let's stretch back into child's pose. Give your back a stretch, release it. And then coming onto your hands and knees and our final stretch for today, we're going to have the knees slightly wider, toes together. Now the ball is right underneath your chest. Standing on your right hand, right arm. Inhale, take your left arm high up towards the sky. Exhale, thread the needle. Place the back of the hand onto the ball. And then roll the arm underneath you to the opposite side. Inhale, come back, left hand goes up. Exhale, threading the arm and reach. And one more. Inhaling, reach up. Lift, lift, lift. Exhale, threading the arm. And come all the way to the center. One cut stretch round on your back. And lengthen. And let's position the ball under the chest again. Second side, right arm up, inhale, reach. Exhale, thread the right arm under. Reach, 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 reach. And come back out of it. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, thread the arm under. One more. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale, right arm under. Lift yourself all the way up. Round in your spine. Sit yourself all the way back into your heels. Take a big stretch with your arms up to the sky. Reach up. And exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this class. Give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.